Welcome to this video on where to navigate within DS Core to connect your Densply Sirona equipment to start automatically uploading patient files and equipment data. My name is Daniela Core and I'm here to show you how. Let's get started. First things first, if you are not logged into your DS Core account, go to dscore.com and sign in with your email address and password. If you are brand new to DS Core and you need to create an account, pause this training and go to our how to sign up for a DS Core practice account video and start there first. Once you have logged into DS Core, you'll see your main dashboard. Navigate to the top left menu bar, the three horizontal lines next to the DS Core logo and click on the menu to open the drop down. Move your cursor to and click on equipment. You will now see the equipment section where you can manage all your devices and media sources in one location. Since you are new to DS Core, this section should be blank and look like what's shown on the screen. Navigate to the new blue button and click on it to open a list of devices for you to connect. You should now see four different device options to set up. Prime Print Solution Sirec Prime Mill Sirec Speedfire Intraoral Scanners Cydexis Connector and InLab CAD slash InLab Cam Hybrid Workflow We are going to start by connecting intraoral scanners first, then our X-ray, Cydexis supported, devices second, followed by design and manufacturing third. Feel free to skip parts of this training that don't apply to you. If you run into any challenges during your device setup, you can navigate to your user icon in the top right corner, select feedback and support, and scroll down to contact and support to get your local support phone number. I'm going to navigate back to the equipment list by opening the main menu and clicking on equipment. Let's get started with how to connect an intraoral scanner. Open a web browser on your Densply Sirona intraoral scanner, such as a PrimeScan, running Sirec Software 5.2.3 and or Connect Software 5.2.3 and log into DS Core. Navigate to your equipment list and click the blue button. Once you see a list of devices to connect, scroll to the intraoral scanners section and click on the white view guide button. A set of instructions will appear on how to start connecting your intraoral scanner. Follow the four steps and if you need additional assistance, you can watch the setup video. To download the connector in step 1, simply click on the white DI and CAD slash CAM connector button to start the process. Navigate to your download folder to open the downloaded connector file, log in with your username and password and follow the remaining steps. Once you have completed the installation, repeat this process on any additional Densply Sirona intraoral scanners you have in your practice that are running on Sirec Software 5.2.3 and or Connect Software 5.2.3. To connect your Densply Sirona X-ray devices to DS Core, you'll need to install the Cydexis connector. Open a web browser on a computer running Cydexis Software 4.3.1 or later and log into DS Core. Navigate to your equipment list, click the new blue button, and then click on the white view guide button located in the Cydexis connector section to begin. A set of instructions will appear on how to start connecting your Cydexis software to DS Core. Follow the five steps to complete the setup. For step one, the DS Core connector can be downloaded by clicking the white DS Core connector download button. Navigate to your download folder to open the downloaded connector file and follow the remaining steps. Once you have completed the process, you are done. The Cydexis connector only needs to be installed once in the practice network. To connect your InLab CAD 22.0 design or InLab CAM 22.0 manufacturing software so that you can direct import.dxd files or send files to be manufactured, open DS Core in a web browser on a computer running your design or manufacturing software. Navigate to your equipment list, click the new blue button, and then click on the white view guide button located in the InLab CAD slash InLab CAM hybrid workflow section. A set of instructions will appear on how to start connecting your software. To download the connector in step 1, simply click on the white download DI and CAD slash CAM connector button to start the process. Navigate to your download folder to open the downloaded connector file, log in with your DS Core username and password, and follow the remaining steps. Once your installation has completed, log into the connector with your DS Core credentials to activate the connection. 
Repeat this process on any other computer that is running in LabCAD 22 or in LabCAM 22 software. If you own a PrimePrint, PrimePrint PPU, Serec PrimeMill and or a Serec Speedfire you can directly connect your devices to DS Core via the DS Core Link app to start uploading technical device data. By connecting your devices to DS Core, you can benefit from fast service clarification for enhanced technical support. To connect your devices, navigate to your equipment list, click the new blue button, and then click on the white view guide button located in the PrimePrint solution, Serec PrimeMill, and Serec Speedfire section. A set of instructions will appear on how to start connecting your devices. Follow these six steps and watch the support video if you need additional support. Once you have completed connecting your devices, return to the equipment list to see and confirm your devices were connected. Please note that our devices shown in this video are currently offline. Your equipment will show online or active. Now that your devices are connected it's time to start enjoying the benefits of DS Core. Your next patient that is scanned via a connected device will be automatically uploaded into DS Core. The more patient files that are collected, the more patient information will begin showing up in DS Core. As you can see on the screen here, we now have patient information populated after capturing new patient data. Once patient files are available, we can officially begin sharing files with partners or placing an appliance order via DS Core Create. That concludes our video for today. You're probably wondering what to do next. Great question. To continue setting up your DS Core account, we recommend you watch the next training video in our series called How to Set Up a Preferred Lab video so that you can start placing orders with your preferred labs or the How to Share a File with a Partner for Case Collaboration video. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy DS Core. See you next time.